What's going on, Marker Heads? I'm back again with another um, part of this Blastoise drawing. Um, I hope you guys really like this next set of Q&A questions. Uh, and, um, of course, the drawing. In the beginning of this drawing, you'll see me doing um, my color scheming. And you'll kind of get a sense of how I do that. I have done a video about how I do color schemes before. But, I don't know, it's just nice to see a video where I have it in action. So, anyways, enjoy that. Um, I'll be coloring the characters today. And uh, in the next video, I'll be doing the background. So anyway, I'm going to move on to the next set of um, Q&A questions. So, here we go! My fifth question also comes from Pink Rose Lea Chihiro. Um, this question is, do you use Prismacolor colored pencils? Um, I do use them, and I think that they're really a great medium. I don't really use them as much as I used to because the Copic markers are really the medium that I love the most. Um, I, I do use them together with my markers a lot, and if you were asking if I recommend them, um, yes, I do re recommend them. They're really awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, I did win some from Zed Kitty Zed's competition last year, and I use them a lot. I just don't like to... I like to sketch with colored pencils, so I have a lot of colored sketches, but I don't... I don't really use them in finished art as much because I'm not very good with them. <laughs> So, yeah. Alright, so my sixth question also comes from Pink Rose Leah Chihiro. Uh, this question is, will you do a tutorial on how to use the color wheel? Um, eventually I will, although I can't exactly say how soon that will be. Color theory is a hugely complex subject. Um, it includes a lot of different areas, so I'd have to break it down into something more manageable. And, of course, I am really backed up with art trades, so I can't really um, stop in the middle of those to do a tutorial at the moment. Although, I will be doing more tutorials in the future. Alright, so my seventh question comes from Real Danger. Or, Real Danger? <laughs> I don't know. Um, this question is, what is your favorite thing to draw apart from Pokemon? And the answer to this is kind of complicated. Um, actually, Pokemon aren't my favorite thing to draw. Not that I don't like drawing Pokemon. Um, uh, I really enjoy creating fan art, and Pokemon is on the top of my fan art list, I suppose. Um, just because there's so many different ones to choose from. Um, however, my passion lies in drawing characters and creatures that I've invented, and also in illustrating the beauty of nature. Um, you don't see too much of my characters because I'm really overprotected of them, overprotective of them, and I don't want someone to claim them or steal them. Uh, and I just really don't um, like to share something like that because they're super personal to me. Um, I simply draw so much Pokemon because that's what people tend to ask for in commissions and art trades. Uh, and I guess um, that's kind of my fault because, you know, um, I've just posted so much Pokemon art, that's what people think that I really like to draw. Although I love drawing other stuff too. Alright, my eighth Q&A question comes from Orange Blossom 796 uh, This question is, I know you really love grass-type Pokemon, but what is your favorite, your next favorite type, like your second favorite? Uh, ah, that's a tough one. Um, I really love me some dark types, but I also equally like flying Pokemon, because they can get you wherever you need to go. Which is why one of my favorite Pokemon is Tropius, because it's a grass and flying Pokemon. Um, I guess it would definitely be a tie between dark and flying Pokemon. Alright, so the pencil broke asked my ninth question. Um, this is, uh, do you have your own manga story that you are writing? 
Um, this is a complicated answer, so bear with me. Uh, I have a few stories that I plan to illustrate in a graphic novel format, but I don't totally consider my style a manga. Um, I guess if you consider my art to be manga, then I guess. Um, but I'll be calling them graphic novels regardless, just because, um, I don't know, I just don't really, I guess, consider my art that manga-like. I mean, I'm sure from some standpoints it could be considered that, but, um, sorry. I have the hiccups. So, <laughs> um, yeah, um, I am planning on doing like sequential art, I guess, um, about my stories. I'm going to be doing a lot of illustrated books, um, but I don't know whether I would call them manga or not. Not that, that manga is a bad thing or anything, I just don't really, I guess, draw within the bounds of manga exactly. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, I guess technically yes, if you consider my stuff manga art. Alright Markerheads, well that's it for this video's Q&As. Um, I guess I'm just going to sign off here in a little bit, uh, but before I do I wanted to talk about the contest some more. Um, if you haven't seen the contest video, I'm going to have a link for that in the, vid in the video description below. Um, and if you have any questions that you want to see in a future Q&A video, please leave a comment and I will answer you as best as I can. Um, I love doing these, they're really fun. And uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Um, oh, also, my uh, since my trades are closed, um, I just wanted to point you towards uh, Old Sophie, my roommate, because she is trying to get some trades. And um, she has a pretty comparable art style to mine, so uh, yeah. Also, she's taking commissions, and they're like way cheaper than mine, because she's just starting out. So if you want to um, commission her, uh, I do have the link to that video in the description below. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys another time. See you later. <laughs> Bye.